today's topic, how to walk to lose weight. Yes, today it's time to get your running shoes out of the closet or your sandals. But in case you walk in sandals, be careful, you shouldn't run in them. And that's why it's a better idea to get your running shoes ready. Especially when it comes to the first tip I want to share with you right now. And that's to be the king of the hill. Whenever I visit my parents, I always become the king of the hill. Because I walk on a hill, because my parents live on a hill. And I really enjoy these long walks. Of course, I also enjoy the long conversations I can have with my parents and with my family members whenever I visit home. But there's a hill. The house is on a hill. And there's been a lot of scientific research that proves that your body can burn calories way faster if you walk up instead of down. And that's also why, for example, when you walk on a treadmill, it's often easier for your body to burn calories if you change the setting from flat surface to mountain surface so that you then walk upwards. This can help you to burn calories if you want to know how to walk to lose weight. And then I invite you to walk faster than you usually walk. An interesting study published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise showed that when people increased their running pace or walking pace, they burned more calories. Which, when you think about it from a logical perspective, it makes complete sense. And that's why when you, for example, take a relaxing walk in nature, why not, at least for a short period of time, walk a little bit faster? And in the beginning, when you're not trained, when your body is not used to walking, especially when your body is not used to walking for a long period of time, or walking at a very high pace, then of course you should start slowly. I don't want you to start walking like a marathon runner and then in the end you say, oh Sebastian, I'm so exhausted, I can't get off the couch anymore. And your body needs time to adjust, no matter if it's exercising in the gym, if it's lifting weights, or if it's walking. So that's why when you walk faster, always observe your heartbeat, always observe your energy level. The last thing I want is that you pass out just because you're walking for weight loss. So start slow and relaxed and then slowly increase the intensity and slowly increase the pace that you walk with or that you run with. And then you can burn more calories. And now I have a very important question for you. And this question is, are you ready? Are you ready for the 10,000 step challenge? Because popular fitness trackers encourage people to take 10,000 steps per day. And there's also a very interesting study that proved, or let's say that agreed, that 10,000 steps are ideal for weight loss. And if you then walk 10,000 steps, which is about 5 miles, and you've accomplished that, then I want you to go, yeah, I did it, woo! I want you to celebrate your progress. I want you to celebrate the fact that you were able to walk 10,000 steps. And what if right now you are just able to walk 1,000 steps? Or maybe you're just able to walk 200 steps? That's also okay. Like I said before, if you have to start slow, that's no problem at all. I don't want you to overtrain yourself and to walk until you're exhausted. You want to increase the intensity step by step. In the same way, if for example a very skinny person who has never lifted a weight in his life doesn't go to the gym and then take the 100 kilo barbell and go rah, I mean then this person would end up in hospital. No, you increase the intensity step by step by step and then you celebrate the progress. So no matter if you can just walk 100 steps or 200 steps or 500 or 1000, I want you to celebrate every little progress and that's how you stay motivated when you walk to lose weight. And what you can also do if you want to walk to lose weight is to take a walk right after your delicious dinner. And yes, you will have a delicious dinner if you stick to your custom keto diet plan. And the keto diet is the only diet that I recommend if you want to lose weight. And the keto diet allows you to eat all kinds of delicious meals and at the same time you can then easily lose weight. And there are thousands of different diets but this is the one that in my opinion and in my experience and from the experience of my clients you want to try. And you can get a custom keto meal plan that is tailored to your goals, to the food that you want to eat, the food that you like so much and also to your weight and to your dream weight. 
And if you want to find out more about this custom diet plan, then you can click on the second link in the description, or you can go directly to loseweightpodcast.com slash diet. And what you can also do if you want to walk to lose weight is to motivate yourself with the right music. Yes, get your headphones ready and then doom, 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 the eye of the tiger. <laughs> or for example, Sia, the greatest, the greatest, don't give up, no, no, no. Any song that can motivate you, that's what you should listen to while you're walking. You don't want to listen to some sad song about a broken heart and oh god, life is suffering, oh, everything is so bad. That's not what you want to listen to when you're walking for weight loss, because otherwise, after five minutes, you're so depressed that you will turn around. But if you choose a playlist, or let's say you create a playlist that contains all your favorite songs, the songs that lift you up, no matter if you love classical music, if you love heavy metal, if you love hip-hop, rock, pop, it doesn't matter. Choose the songs that work best for you, that lift you up, that pump you up, that make you feel amazing. And then go out and walk. Of course, you can also walk while listening to the Lose Weight podcast to get even more motivated. But before you take a walk, maybe about one hour before, or not just maybe, I would say between one and two hours before your walk, and a lot of scientific studies agree with me on that, you should have a small snack. And of course, a healthy snack. For example, an apple, or maybe you want to eat an orange or a banana. Choosing a healthy snack before you take a walk can be very good for your weight loss. Because if you skip your pre-workout snack, you run the risk of low blood sugar, and that's what you want to avoid as somebody who wants to walk to lose weight. And then change your walking speed while you're taking a walk. There's an interesting study that's called the metabolic cost of changing walking speeds is significant, implies lower optimal speeds for shorter distances, and increases daily energy estimates. In other words, when you are varying your speed of walking, you can burn up to 20% more calories compared to when you just maintain the same steady pace. And that's what this study from Ohio State University discovered. So change your walking speed from time to time, and then it will be easier for you to burn calories and to lose weight. And stay hydrated while you're walking. Being hydrated is already good for weight loss, because when you're hydrated and you consume a lot of water, then you will as a result also consume less food because you're less hungry. Because, well, you feel full faster. And it's also important when you walk, especially when you then change your walking speed and you walk faster, then you sweat more, and then your body needs water. So staying hydrated is not only good for your weight loss in general, but also especially when you are walking to lose weight. And what you can also do is to take one capsule of the only weight loss and fat loss supplement that I recommend. And you can either do that before your walk or after your walk. And when you then take this capsule, you can drink a lot of water to experience the benefits that I just mentioned. And one ingredient, for example, in this supplement, and there are many amazing ingredients, but one of them is Bacillus subtilis. And in a study from 2017, subjects given Bacillus subtilis saw significant drops in body fat percentage within just days of taking it. And in a study from 2019, researchers found that Bacillus subtilis produces an important short-chain fatty acid. And this short-chain fatty acid activates a special fat-burning gene called AMPK, while at the same time it switches off fat-storing genes and drastically lowers hunger hormones. And countless studies have shown that probiotics such as this one, and that's just one of the amazing ingredients in the supplement, can affect your body weight in a positive way by releasing appetite-regulating hormones and by increasing levels of fat-regulating proteins. And if you want to find out more about this weight loss supplement, which is the only weight loss supplement I recommend, then you can click on the first link in the description or go directly to loseweightpodcast.com slash video and watch this video till the very end. I promise you that you won't regret watching this video because this truly is the only weight loss supplement that I recommend to you. And then take a walk in nature instead of always choosing the treadmill. Walking in nature can have an impact on your overall well-being by, for example, improving your mood, it can reduce stress and anxiety, and, and that's the most important fact for you if you want to lose weight, 
It can even decrease your cortisol levels because you feel less stressed and less anxious. And this positive effect can then already lead to weight loss just because you're walking outside and not on a treadmill. Because low cortisol levels are better for your body's metabolism and for your body's ability to lose weight by burning fat. And then switch from low intensity to high intensity. And you can even change the surface that you're walking on. If you, for example, add a 10 to 15 minute high intensity walk, you have the potential to lose even more weight faster. And if you change the surfaces that you walk on, for example, you change from walking on a track to walking on grass, then according to latest research, this can allow you to burn even more calories.